Hello, today I take time to explain what is the CRM project. It's a project that will be the base for my tutorials and for some exercises. So I thought it's useful to have a separate video in which I explain it. CRM stands for Customer Relational Management. It's a tool, it's a software tool used by marketing, used by sales, used by customer support. It contains information about the customer. It starts with the offer and then the sales data and then, of course, customer support data. Our project is happening in an SME, that is to say a small to medium enterprise. They have data about marketing, about sales that are in different databases or even on some Excel spreadsheets. So the project is to unify this in a single system, in a customer relation management system, the CRM. So in this company, they have decided to create a project for this and you will be in charge of that project. So the CRM is going to start. We are in January at the beginning of the year and the management wants this CRM system to be in place for the end of April. After some discussions, the management has decided to orientate toward an online system. So we will now proceed with the project. So what has to be done is to first evaluate the systems, to define one and to decide which one to take, then to put it in place, to do some integrations with the other database like accounting, for example, and then to train the users and make sure through tests that the system is ready. Once it is ready, it's the go for production that will be set for the end of April. So this is how I see that this project should go ahead. So the project starts beginning of the year in January and has to be operational by the 29th of April. The steering committee has opted for an online CRM system, otherwise said it's in the cloud. All the documentation is in English since the company is international. We will start the project with the first phase, which is initiation. During initiation, it's when we do the project proposal. The project proposal will be written in one day and after it will be approved. Once it is approved, we enter in what we call planning. Planning, we will just do a macro planning, really general. Then we are into what we call conceptions. Into conception phase, we will do the more precise requirements and then we will proceed to solutions evaluations during two weeks. Once this is done, we will set all the people together that might bring something to the decision together in a meeting and we will decide which is the solution. Once the solution has been decided, we gave us one week to purchase, to arrange all the contract, all the financial part of the agreement. With this, we enter in what we call realization. The realization phase, it's when we do really the work. And for this, we will have some installation followed by system integration. System integration, it's to make software connection with the existing systems, with the database, and maybe to insert data also from those older systems. So we counted two weeks for this work. Once this is done, we are ready to test and we give us two weeks of tests. What is a good idea? It's to train the users that they can be also part of the tests. For this, when the test starts, I will do two sessions of two days of training for the users. Like that, you have half of the users that can go to one session and the other half of the users going to the other session. Like that, you always have 
at least half of the people for the operation. Once this is done, the tests are performed and are satisfied, it's the time to get the go for production. Once we have the go for production, we'll go into production as planned. After that, we will keep an eye on the system for a period of two weeks that we call production run. It's then that you have some mistakes, some misunderstanding that will come out and users might need some help during that time. So this is, once again, what we call the production run. Once this is done, you can leave the system run, be operated, and after a while, you will meet for what we call a closing meeting, where the idea is to bring all the inputs of the good things that went on into the project, the ones that were a bit more difficult, and to understand what we could improve for the next project. It's also the time when the management can thank all the team that participated to this, and this is something that is always welcome. So this is what we call the closing phase of a project. So now you know about the CRM project that will be used for trainings and exercises. So what is left to me is to wish you a good day, have a good time and hope to see you soon on the Vision 6D channel. You can like, you can subscribe. Bye bye.